imposed a monetary fine of rupees 10 crore on HDFC Bank for the violation of provisions of Section 8 and Section 6 Part 2 of the Banking Regulation Act of 1949. The Central Bank, however, mentioned in a statement today that the decision is purely based on the lack of regularity compliance and is not meant to have any impact on the validity of any transaction put into account by the bank with its customers. The violation of the provisions of Section 8 and Section 6 Part 2 of the Banking Regulation Act of 1949 was found out while examining the documents of marketing and sale of non-financial third-party products to the customers of the bank, which rose from the complaint to the RBI with regards to the irregularities in the bank's auto loan portfolio. Now, let us talk about the functions of the Reserve Bank of India. First, issuance of notes. It is the sole responsibility of the statutory body that has the right to issue currency notes of different denominations except for the one rupee note which comes under the responsibility of the Ministry of Finance. Second, banker to the government. The RBI is to behave as the agent, advisor and banker to the Indian government and states. Apart from this, the statutory body is also responsible for offering advice to the Indian government on matters that have more to do with economy and monetary policies. The statutory body also manages the public debt of the Indian government. Third, the bank of the bank. Sometimes the RBI is also called the banker's bank because it is responsible for lending money to all the commercial banks present in the country. Fourth, credit controller. Qualitative and quantitative methods are used to regulate the flow of credit in the country by the Reserve Bank of India. So, when the Reserve Bank says, the economy of the country has got enough money supply and that it may lead to an inflationary situation, it has the power to reduce the money supply through its monetary policy and vice versa. Now, there are many other functions that the RBI performs other than what is mentioned above, but it represents the membership of India and is also representative of the government in the International Monetary Fund, IMF.